Um, hello and welcome to a new game in my One Done series. Uh, let's hope I do not uh, do too badly in this game. Hopefully, my One Done series can continue. So let's see what. Uh, we will do here. Um, and here I guess I'm in a pincering mood. I do not see a reason for the top being big, so... I will pincer at the same time expanding from my d4 stone. So if this stone was black, I definitely would not pincer. Oh, and I think this one is a very old Choseki. With a very large uh, jump. And I do not know uh, I mean if I play C18, he obviously would play D17, I will extend. Um, and he will launch an attack on my stone. That I do not want to do. So I will want to connect up my stone, but maybe this is uh, not Choseki anymore. So now he really hurt his um, outside stone for a few points. Here I will play for a few more forcing moves. And now I have a very nice outside. And with the influence I want to expand across the board. If he pulls back or some sort of this move I will play L16. Starting to grow this area. So his corner is very nice, cannot... Now k3 is obvious since uh, the enclosure wants to play k3 and this extension wants to play k3. And I'm really tempted now to continue playing for influence since playing somewhere else now like r17 which is pretty big. Uh, then my k4 stone will come under attack. So first I want to strengthen it, creating influence and then maybe playing around c6 I like. Yes, yeah, c6 I liked, so did black. Um, I can continue this one. But it feels kinda easy on black on the left, since uh, I can create even more influence by... Mm, this one I'll pincer. Uh, reading the letters, they go to the black stones, but I'm 
Now I can kinda steal their base. However, I think there will be no letter, he will just connect underneath and lets me take. Yeah, he's connecting underneath, um, letting me take my um, influence here. So, uh, hooray, influence incentive for me. Um, what to do with the influence? Uh, I was still aiming at R17 and I will do it. Now he can give me the corner or he can give me the top. He gives me the corner. So already I'm aiming at <laughs> S14. Kinda greedy of me, I guess. But I want to disconnect his group from this one stone. This is usually done by the shoulder hit and then the honey. And that is what I'll go for. And then the honey. And I have reduced him when I connect. Do I have the nose Tisuji afterwards? Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll connect. So a nice reduction for me, I guess. And I can even push and continue expanding my influence, which I like. However, if I push, he will connect, I'll honey, he'll honey here. Uh, so I think I'll play this one and eventually sacrifice those three stones which uh, serve the purpose for reducing black to create this huge amount of potential territory. I mean this is just like ninth line here. Uh, this, yeah, is definitely necessary. As black, I would have played just the same move. And the letter goes to white, right? So I can cut off honey, extend. I can cut off the one stone, maybe for a huge center. Mm 
letter does not work. So I capture the stones, leaving him with cutting points, which he will fix. I will also fix my shape here. I think this one is goatee. Since I do not see a way or rather a clear way to kill him since he is kinda out. So I will strengthen my shape rather. Well if I would see a way to keep, uh, kill the black stones and with this move it becomes more possible. Uh huh. Mm hmm. So this definitely is goatee. This definitely is not going to be protected. Uh, but rather... I mean, this is so much bigger than anything, any, any 10 points here. On the bottom, white is fine and alive. And I guess this again was goatee. White is still fine and alive. So I want to play an asking move. Can I get more stones around uh, the O4 area? And maybe I can. O4 area. O4 area, so I got the two stones, uh, the three stones for free. So I got all this influence for free, thank you very much. I can save my stones, but I don't want to. I rather want them to be dead and remove his extension. So yeah, I'm doing this one. And connecting up, created some nice 10 points around here. Is this goatee again for him?
Uh, let's see. Uh, honey. This one. Ah, shouldn't have forced first, right? Uh, doesn't matter any anyway. So, um... Uh, the honey is quite large, right? Creates some points here and reduces uh, blacks. Top points. Right, this was his sente. And this again is sente since he can play here, right? So from like five, four moves in Gote, he got one, two stones and one, two, three, uh, another six points. So three moves for ten points. Ah, this is kind of thin, no? If I play here, there will be the attachment and the... Yeah. But this huge uh, top is, uh, you know, huge. <laughs> All he got is third line on the bottom and a uh, large corner and uh, yeah definitely need to fix that. Now there is no RG remaining anymore. Around the top. No invasion possible. Yeah, here I'd like to keep my 10 points. So he just created RG for himself. He can cut, sure. He can Atari, sure. He can cut. He can extend. Still all the letters which go this way favor me. I think I uh, fix my RG there. Uh, attempted just to answer to make my shape stronger here on the left since there there are some cuts I give him that Pihani Sente. Ooh, I was saying the honey Sente and he ignored. Then uh, let's see who was right. I can just Atari, he extends, I Atari, he extends, I kill. So nice profit for me, I guess. Uh, here my shape is kind of messed up, but I profited there, so that is fine. And now my shape is fine, bamboo joint and... Uh, Although a few points less than a few moments ago, 
but I got this nice reduction. And this what uh, was what counted. Here is a huge endgame. And there is no connecting uh, this stone, but I still can force him to take it. And uh, sure, this is a reduction. Now I milked all this RG from those three stones to create more than I would have saved and also reduce him so I really like not have, having saved those stones uh, and what to do now um, Still have one semi forcing move, but let's play here. There's not uh, much to do here anymore. Keep him out of my top. He will push, I will block. You play around L8, I guess. No, he won't. Uh, can't extend up since then he'll throw in. No, I can't extend up, but I won't. And this is again not sente per se, but the next, the follow up is sente, and the follow up is one point in sente, so I want to take away the follow up if I do not have bigger things to do. But I think I will play here since it gives me a follow-up as well. Yes, that was his right. And now my follow-up, which is Sente. Uh, unfortunately, there is no this one, but there are Large co threats. Um, playing down, I guess. Uh, read again. Um, cut, I take. Tari, I take. If he extends up, goes nowhere. So he has to cut. And then I block, he extends up. Block. It looks like there is no RG there. But if he pushes, I think I will need to connect then. So let's connect now. Oh, 
thought I should have just protected my cut. No, if I protected my cut, then this would have been minus one point. This was a dummy, and I guess it's also a protection. Um, what is left to do besides the obvious co? Um, I'm sure you are all familiar with the expression do not make points with influence, like I did in this game, but this expression applies only if you are making small points from influence. If you threaten to make large points from influence, then your opponent uh, has to reduce or invade. If he doesn't, then you get large points. That is why if your opponent remains passive, then you get points from influence, actually. And quite some large ones. I think he's reading those cuts now. But all this is all connected up and has enough eyes. I will play one more here, since I'll have to. There are no more coal or anything else on the board, I guess. So will he be respectful and pass? Or will he uh, try to invade now, when everything around is strong? No, he will do neither. He will resign the game. Uh, so I say thank you. Uh, my one done series will continue, hooray! Uh, not over yet. And first I'll disconnect. And review. So here I am approached. I am approached and um, black is not threatening to make anything on the top, like for example if he would have, I don't know, uh, let's see, if he would have a large wall here, or kinda uh, wallish, then, uh, uh, let's go away, if he would have this wall and he would approach and I would pincer, he will surely uh, change or change directions and profit and create huge influence from this wall and I mean C15 is not dead at all. So in uh, this situation I would want to reduce uh, this influence. But here, on this board, there is no real uh, big influential top, so I pincer extending from my uh, stone. And we see this. 
and I think uh, already black pincers in this position after one move. But I do not uh, know the proper Jose key since this is definitely too old for me, this one. But usually you jump and pincer and start the fight. Um, what he wanted is definitely to get stronger in the corner first, expecting this and this and pincering now. And you see already uh, black is uh, much stronger on the left. And white is a little bit over concentrated with his jump. Uh, and we have still a running fight. Uh, maybe... this way or maybe black will jump once again forcing white to jump once again so here already I thought let's uh, break up the connection between c15 and f uh, you know 15 and now f15 is really hurt And maybe uh, it sure feels small to capture white, white's two stones and goatee. Uh, black gets a huge corner, but white gets influence and senti. Influence and senti is dangerous, since influence and say, senti means that your opponent or the one with the influence will extend from it. Or attack something if there is something to attack. So maybe black can play this way. If white extends from it, then the influence is way less magnificent. Then there are there is no G eighteen. There is nothing. Black has an equally large corner. But white gets less influence. Maybe it is not correct to reduce the influence now. Since white can force black to live small and create uh, even more magnificent influence. So I think I would have played this way. And obviously if white connects, then you go ahead and reduce the influence. So white will not connect. Um, we had this. I really like this. Influence, extension, like a textbook example. Now this one is definitely too ambitious. But I've seen it in pro games a lot of times when he, uh, the player had influence. He just ambitiously extended and they had a fight around this area. Uh, I went for calmer move, and white gave me a huge, uh, well, an obvious follow-up at k3. I think if white now, go, uh, if black now goes for Kobayashi. Uh, then this is expected to happen, and both players seem to have some frameworks starting. Black's framework has more holes, but black already got a large corner. So maybe counter a framework with your own framework. Uh, but I think going for points is fine as well. This one was obvious. And this seems too small. I'm thinking about this move. Since this um, Q14 extension says that black wants another move on the right. And this move on the right creates a nice framework. So why not play this way? In comparison, this move seems smaller than the other one 
and without the other one there is still this approach so the right side will be split and black will have no points in the right uh, top right corner uh, however first things first I continue with my influence idea uh, and want to force black into this position before I go ahead and play this one. So this threatens again the huge uh, potential. Um, yep. And black decides that he wants to take my move away. So we have this. Um, I can consider pincering. Pincering pushes black into my corner though. And my territory, uh, I mean, after this, oh, sorry, after this, yeah, there are still reductions, I guess. Uh, definitely playable, I think, but I like my move as well. Just uh, taking a few points since black has already a lot of points, white has just the potential. So, just take a few points and create more potential after leaning on black. I guess needs to play another move here. And I think it is this one since it has. Uh, sente potential. I guess uh, no. Black will play here. There is still an invasion. So yeah, black uh, white takes some points and still has some potential. And what black did was just split the left side, but uh, yeah. So, um, but here black decides to deviate from this plan, and I think the fighting move is this one. Uh, since if white answers now, there is no connection, and black needs to run. This means we can expect something along those lines and black is not alive on the left and this group is not connected yet but I think my group is just too weak and I have no time killing black on the left so it is a dangerous plan maybe I need to play this one first And this show that black blacks omitting this move, which is which would be crucial now to connect, um, can be split. So I think this would have been a better plan if I was in aggressive mood and would want to attack everything. And he kind of has the weak group, so I, I kind of would have should have done it. But I go for a more passive move. Like this is the most passive move you can play in the situation, just taking the corner and letting black connect out and take more influence. So influence on the top, in some influence on the bottom. Time to use it. So how to use the influence? Um, I still think my corner play is uh, valid, since if uh, Black has choices, if he chooses to play this Joseki, then my top becomes even more solid, and I think this can be expected, and Black will grow his right. 
and I will use my influence to reduce or invade it. And this is fine for blank. Uh, he blocks on the other side, gets rid, uh, usually okay, this one, if you block on the other side. And if Y just lives, then you still have your extension. And the top became uh, much smaller now. Also with the extension, uh, the cut is okay. And there is enough RG for black to get out of this position. He has time. I think. So that was way too kind of black to let white still take the top. And he expanded less ambitiously with this move. So I go for the disconnection. Maybe since my framework is large, I can play this one immediately and not exchange all of this first. Uh, but then he will continue expanding and continue expanding. Still, I think this is uh, very fine for white. Since white's framework looks bigger than black's, and there's a third line stone. To... And there's some influence to run towards. Uh, yeah, so first I try and disconnect or uh, reduce. Uh, if Black just plays those moves, then yeah, this seems really weird, and his his connection on the second line really is not that good. Um, if he cuts now, then there is this. And I think white is able uh, to capture those stones. But maybe this is again playable for black. He got the influence. And he can grow his right side. So maybe my plan was not that good. Um, So he just connects, and in my mind, I was playing this variation, and obviously black will not follow along. After here, black will say, no, you are not connecting, and definitely not connecting. That's why... I go ahead with the original move and sacrifice the six stones for a wall towards more influence. Black finally finds the time to fix since if black no plays some large move here. Uh, then the situation starts oh no starts to grow really huge. Now white has all this influence which works rather fine. So I like the move by black. Uh, here are the peep. And uh, I went for the one stone and uh, securing my influence maybe. I could have uh, gone for the kill, since I have influence all around, and it is black who needs to find uh, his second eye. But oh well, I just seen that I can play all those moves, he needs to connect, 
and I can secure my, uh, you know, huge amount of points. Why not taking a huge amount of points and letting him live? So all I wanted is basically this move and this move. This F10 and H11. Here he is still worried about his life. Although... I think I will play here first. You know, just trying and... Uh, if black runs along here, then white starts needing a connection. And black can aim at the huge right side. So, playing here, I think, is nice. If uh, he's worried about his life, if he's not worried about his life, maybe something along those lines to grow the right. But, uh, yeah, at the same time, if he grows his right side, there is just very little space to live for black. Would be very risky. But his move is kinda goaty. That is why I secure my shape and peeping uh, safely into his uh, framework. I mean, point wise, if I get uh, the whole top, well, it's quite fine. And we have this very tiny move. I mean, right, black can jump in. This is like 10 points in Sente uh, uh, follow-up. So this is uh, a 10 point goatee move. Or uh, more. However, there is so much potential on the right, the bottom right here. Yeah, threatened to pull out, he continues, and this again is senti, he can take the two stones, they do not matter anymore since he already is protected with his h4 uh, uh, asking move. All I want is to play somewhere around o4, p5, so maybe just play it immediately. If he protects this way, I have the attachment. If he protects this way, I have the attachment. Mm, I get tricky here, so no matter if he answers this way, then I'm alive in the corner. So th this would be very fine. Uh, yeah, if he answers aggressively, then I have my forcing moves. So he took the corner, here I guess he should take, and do not give me another forcing move here anymore. So after this variation I got my p5 and o4, the two moves that I wanted and can continue from here, to reduce the right. Oh, uh, yeah. And here he connected. Uh, connecting sure removes the immediate R6. Uh, however, it gives me more forcing moves. And I can still go for the nose to CG here. And create uh, my 15 points here in this area. So I like that. Here again with the goatee move. I just make sure that my stones are dead. Um, profiting in... Uh... Maybe I should have played this one first, since if he goes away now, there's this. And there is... Oh, never mind. I still like my peeping here and then getting a few more points. Secure the top. 
remove the RG and here from here this one should not be ignored I guess maybe this one is bigger though maybe this one is bigger if black plays his move now and for some reason ends in Gote. Then there still is this go here, this go here, and white can play t16 anytime. So maybe maybe this one is larger. Since again uh, T17 is goatee for black, so he will not play it. But I think it is center for white, so I exchange. And here, as you can see, there is. This is game over instantly. So I think this one is appropriate. Now white connects. And his move, I guess, is larger than this uh, little reduction. So nice spot there by black, but he continued there with the wrong move. So now it's Gote. Protect my shape since I do not like. If I protect here, then you know there's this, and there's the push, and there's this, all those senti moves. I kinda. Maybe there is even something worse here. Yep. That is why I go for a better shape. And protect this way, this way I have a nice bamboo and... Yeah, from here some endgame, some more endgame. And as you know my endgame is not the best. So, uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.